today I'll be showing you how to start a shop in Cubic Castles. I'm going to be starting at the basics where you don't even have a shop and then I'm going to walk through how you can start your first shop and go on from there. If you already have a shop, let me know what it is and put your realm name in the comments. So why do you need a shop? A shop is where you have items that you want to sell and people come to you to buy rather than you needing to go out to find someone. This means that you can choose what you want to sell and decide what price you want to sell it at. So it doesn't matter where your shop is, the most important thing is being able to find buyers for your items. When you start off in cubic castles, you probably won't have enough cubits to buy a vending machine. Vending machines let you sell an item without you being there. You set the price and put the item in the vending machine and the buyer can come along to the realm at any time and buy the item. Your first shop might be in Penn's Yard Rentals. Penn's Yard Rentals is a popular place where you can set up sort of a pop-up shop for one hour. For 10 cubits, you rent the plot and you can put your items and use a cash register to trade with people who are want to buy. There are quite a few other rental places similar to Penn's Yard Rentals, but this one is one of the most popular ones and just make sure that you aren't going to an obscure rental place that nobody goes to. The only people who will be buying your things are people who are walking around in the realm. And remember to collect the things that you are selling before your one hour is up, otherwise someone else might rent the place after you and take those items. Once you've made about 1500 cubits or have three or four vending machines, you might want to start up your first permanent shop where you don't have to worry about your items being taken if you forget about your rental plot. You don't need to buy a big realm or a new room to start up your first shop, you can use your starter realm. If you've watched my 17 by 17 build, it is large enough to have your first shop. The drawback of starting your first shop is that you won't have as much foot traffic or people walking around as in realms like Penn's Yard Rentals. So you'll need to advertise your realm. What you can do is you can use hollers, or holler warps, and it will show a message in chat that people can click on to come to your shop. However, it does cost 500 cubits each. So instead, free ways to get people to come to your shop is by advertising on the forums or on the community discord in their respective sections for advertising. You might see in some other people's shops that there is a small rental plot with a prize machine and that's a relatively cheap way that you can advertise your shop. What you do is rent the plot and you put your warp food in glass next to the vending machine and then some players take that warp food and buy some items from your shop. All you need for this is a warp bumper which you can get for about 200 or 300 cubits and go to a realm like Wim's Community Rentals or even my shop which you can advertise your realm. Other ways that you can advertise your realm is advertising in overworld or just giving warp food to random players. Now that you've started your first shop and maybe have run out of space in your realm to expand it further, at this point you might want to get a bigger realm. Remember that you will need all the vending machines and items that you would like to sell to fill out that new space. I would recommend not getting a room for your new shop because it is harder for players to find and it doesn't show up on the popular realms list on the overworld search. For the size of your realm, depending on how many items you want to sell or are planning to sell in the future, it might vary. Around 55 or 75 is probably what I would suggest. At this point you're probably a complete expert on how to play the game and how to sell items and find people to buy your items. So you might want to expand into community markets and if you've been around Cubic Castles for a while there have been a couple incidents around scams in some community markets that were seen as trustworthy. What community markets are is that it is similar to rental markets like Penn's Yard Rentals and instead of having only one hour, most of the time it is forever or a long period of time. 
just take the time to read through the place that you are looking at its rules and make sure that you think that you can trust the place. If you're looking for one, Wim's Community Market is probably a good one to start looking at and is run by a former game moderator. So that's all for today's video. If you're starting out your shop, go to a place like Penn's Yard Rentals to get some cubits to buy some vending machines and start your first shop. And I'll see you in the next video.